But now, it's time. Lair of the Clockwork God. This is a story platformer adventure game where basically both of the characters has a completely different gameplay style. One is a platformer and one is an adventure game that like fucks around with items and stuff. It's very interesting. All right, you just have to take my, you gotta take my word. It's very, it's very good. I'm gonna have to turn the music. I'm gonna have to turn this down a little bit more, aren't I? Hold up. There we go, that should be good. There we go, that's good. All right, shall we? New game. Progress will be lost, are you sure? Yeah. Begin experience, how about just press A to start? I think that's deliberate for a reason, friend, you'll see. Peru, two weeks ago. I hate this already. The game's quiet again. Hold on. Guess I have, guess I can turn it up a bit more. I'm not doing any platforming. We've talked about this, Ben. Pointing and clicking is dead. It's those trendy platformer kids who are in now, and we need to stay relevant. I'm going to be an indie darling platformer instead. You prance around all you like, Dan. I'm gonna stick to using my brain. I need to decide on the voices for these two because they're gonna be like this for a while. Pretty sure they're supposed to be fucking British or Australian, one or the other, but I definitely am not doing either of those voices in a specific attempt to make you more upset. Uh, when they say stuff like, bloody hell, except it's bloody hell, because they talk like, like this. And my hands. I'm gonna hear he's talking like that now. And sometimes my mouth. So then, which supervillain are we gonna defeat with your amazing new jumping skills? Actually, we're looking for a flower. What? This isn't one of your wacky adventures, Ben. It's a poignant quest. This is a rare and most likely metaphorical flower that cures cancer. You can't even get more worthy than that. Uh-huh. And once we find this flower, presumably we find a wacky florist and swap it for a more useful item? No, we use it to cure our friend Matthew. He has a particularly unpleasant case of colon cancer and he needs our help. It's all very relevant and modern. Bloody hell, Arthur. Right. We've done enough of your old-fashioned talking already. <laughs> I'm going on ahead. Have fun with your brain. Come on, chat. You wait there. I'll run ahead and call you if I need any help. Come on, chat. Let's get some platforming done. Fiddlesticks. This lever is too small and nimble for my colossal hands. My colossal, gigantic hands. My huge... Massive, gigantic hands are too, too large. <laughs> All right, maybe I need your help already. Tab, switch between Dan and Ben. Okay. This is my max speed. Hey, Dan, which Matt is it with this cancer anyway? Matt F? No, 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 Matt C. Oh, shame. I like Matt C way more. <laughs> Don't be so callous. We're being thoughtful and considerate, remember? All right. You can press the jump button all you like. I'm no platformer. I resolutely refuse to engage any of my baser urges. All right, he's he's not he's not. We we gotta physically get this guy up here. It's like an escort mission. It's time. Cue to interact. Look at. It's a wall switch. I can only, only I can use these. Okay. Use inventory. Uh, P on wall switch. 
I can just use this. No need for inventory shenanigans. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll use the lever. It's open. We're in. Come on, chat. What the hell's this floaty monolith thing? Checkpoints. When we die, we respawn back at the last checkpoint we crossed. Standard platforming procedure. Death is now consequence free. Bar being a mild inconvenience. Hang on. Why can't Matt C just respawn then? How come he's all pathos and heartstring? Ah, uh, well, he's not a platformer. It's different. How dissonant. What's death like, anyways? Oh, just a cold, dark void with no concept of time or space, basically. Yikes. No wonder platformers are so emo they have to go through that every two minutes. Yeah. Well, back to it. Might be able to get a, make it across if we work together. Well, I can't even talk to this guy. I'll have to summon my friend to speak to this man. Tarquin. Uh, oh no, wait, uh, let's... P on, P on, P Tarquin. He looks like he deserves a bit of a pissing on, to be honest. But I only piss in two places, toilets and graves. Give it time, he's very close to those spikes. Oh no. <laughs> no, no! Let's talk. Hey! You there, hippie! You look a bit, uh, cluttered for a platformer. Thanks for the constructive feedback, but I'm actually an indie developer. My name is Tarquin. I am the highest form of artistic creative imaginable. And you are? Uh, Ben. I'm from Point and Clicks. Oh, charming! I remember those. From back in the olden days, like my father used to play. Uh-huh. What's a dev doing out here on the front lines? Great question! I'm, re I'm doing research for my next game. Apparently there's a thematically potent flower around here somewhere. They say it has the power to cure cancer. I'm going to use it as inspiration for my next interactive narrative experience. No chance, Buster. We want that flower. Sounds like a worthy quest, and Dan's all about that worthy shit now. A rival project, eh? Well, I certainly welcome the healthy competition. Good luck getting over these impassable spikes, though. What's your game about? It's a dissection of loss due to cancer. <laughs> it has an engaging perspective mechanic where objects can change size depending on z-axis value. And it's going to star me as the protagonist. <laughs> That's a bit narcissistic, don't you think? Interesting opinion. But I like to think of, think autobiographical games are super innovative. Why do you talk so weird? I'm worried you might write a negative Steam review. Oh. So are you gonna get moving or what? can't see through your massive beard. Well, full disclosure, I'm struggling to get over this pit of spikes. I'm developing a walking simulator, not a jumping simulator. All right, get back to work, you lazy dev. Okie dokie, have a productive day. I'm gonna I'm push him in. Come on, come on, stop posing and get a move on. Other people wanna use the course. I can turn the game up more. That should have been much more violent sounding. That's better. Let's put this game up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, let's... What, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> Trying to find a flower that cures cancer. And we're gonna do that by mainly climbing and jumping. Climbing and jumping? Like those Johnny-come-lately indie hipster platformer guys? 
You only graduated from sidekick to co-adventure a little while ago, and now you want to sell out already? It's not selling out. It's keeping up with the times. And kids love platformers, Ben. They work in metaphors and speak to the human condition. It's all very modern and sophisticated. I cried when Johnny come lately successfully negotiated with childhood demon. Let me guess. He did that by jumping around a lot. Exactly. Knowing these pretentious platformers you love so much. I bet Matt won't even want his cancer curing. All right. It'll turn out that we were being terribly presumptuous or something. Oh, yeah, that'd be clever. <laughs> oh, no. What if he doesn't want it, dude? What if we never asked? We never asked Matt if he wanted to get rid of his cancer. I'm not going to let your platform cramp my adventuring style. I'm going to talk to everyone, examine everything, and pick up as much stuff as I can without fear of getting killed or stuck in a dead end. Hey, us platformers don't worry about that stuff either these days. Let's both just experiment and see what happens. It's the spice of life. And if you happen to make me some kind of upgrade or improve my platforming abilities like, I don't know, a shrinking device made with a washing machine parts and a radioactive telescope, then all the better. What? <laughs> Interact with as much stuff as you like without worrying. You'll muck stuff up, is what I'm saying. Within acceptable ethical boundaries, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Bye, then. He's fine. I noticed that wasn't phrased as a question. Dan's freaking me out, dude. All right, well, now we can clear the jump. Hey! I fucked that up. Heck. I don't know why I live. I hang. <laughs> I did it. Just like James Bond in that bit with those crocodiles. Platforming is the coolest. Dude, look at that fucking winning smile he has right now. He's loving this. All right. Look at that fucking smile he had. He's having the time of his fucking life platforming. Bring on. Pressure pads. This is a gentleman's way of getting things done. See how effortless it is to make things happen? Just stand in the right place and wait. Hmm. I'll stick to jabbing at things with my fingers taut. You see, they're like, they're talking like, they're talking like fucking, they're talking in, in a language that is in English, chat. Ta? What the fuck does that even mean? We need these words censored. They need to be out of my game experience or distracted. I'm not walking off the edge of this cliff. I'm an adventurer. I'm not accustomed to gravity. Okay. Uh, ugh, there's too many objects in front of me. This never happened to me before platforming got involved. I better have a big think and decide which one to interact with first. Uh, bubble pipe or Tarquin's corpse. You all right, mate? Oops, Daisy. <laughs> All right, he, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. See, this is what happens when you get into extreme sports like indie development. Nice boots, though. They're huge, but with a little tweak, they'd fit Dan. Pick up the boots. Three minutes in, and you're already stealing shoes off a dead man. Some things don't change, do they? Hey, I'm trying to cure cancer here. Hmm, there's also a bubble pipe here, which I should also grave rob. Alright, grab that. I'll have that, thank you! Okay. There we go, chat. I regret not using my chance to pee on this dead body when it was still an option, but now I can't pee on his grave because the selection is gone. We've missed our chance. How do I get this guy up? I'm gonna have to find a way to get him out of this hole. To look around for something. I don't think I can use any stuff in my inventory. All we have is boots, bubble pipe. Examine this. Wait, wear this. Ooh, he's wearing it upside down. Uh, examine. 
It's a bubble pot. I've always wanted one, uh, one on our adventures, but it's not worth it because you never come across soapy water. That's why all adventurers have mucky fingernails. Knowing platformers, though, Dan will have us splashing around in a giant bathtub before long, so here it is. Can't blow bubbles while it's dry, though. Okay. Eh. That'll help me eventually. We gotta use Dan to find a way to get him down from well, up, up here. How is it we can hear each other over any distance now? It's the light telepathic bond we picked up during the Warlock to put Stonehenge invasion incident, remember? Oh yeah, where each archway led to a different plane of magic. Man, there's a lot of vague mystical wiffle waffle on that adventure. Of course. Wiffle waffle. I killed that thing. Oh, that's a box. Hmm, that crate looks movable. Yes! Pushing crates! There's little in life as exhilarating as pushing a big fucking crate. Yeah. This is what we are playing this game for. The platforming action. Chat, this is what I wanted in my indie platforming adventure. Less, less Ben, more Dan. How am I going to get, wait a minute. How am I going to get up? Oh, I missed my chance. I need to, I need to, I don't think I can go through that lightning thing. I think I need to, I think I need to basically go all the way around and grab it on the other side now. Or I'm dead. Wait a minute. Oh. Nothing. Come on. Your nose is a different color than the rest of your face. It's really disconcerting. Yeah, it's quirky and alternative. Noses that are different color from the rest of your face are so in right now, even though it makes no sense. Well, your nose looks like it's from a completely different game. That's fucking mean, actually. But whatever, man. We got him the box. We can push this in, I bet. Or we can kill him. This is a big mistake, and I'm not gonna fucking fall for it. All right. No, I need... There's still more steps to this chat. We're not done here. Now I gotta get him out of the hole. So I can pull the crate all the way over here. Because this fucking asshole is not gonna... Oh god. This fucking asshole is not just gonna jump. He has to physically... Yeah, I basically have to babysit him. He won't do anything on his own. Okay. Problem solved. Problem solved. Uh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just, let's just take, let's just take a look at this real quick. It's the power source for that force field yonder. None of this even makes sense, you know. Why are there all these platforms and buttons and stuff in the jungle? It's surrealist. It's slapdash is what it is. I don't like it. Let's just agree to ignore any technology from here on out. It's ruining the vibe. Okay. Uh, open. It's jammed shut. I might be able to get it open with a solid satisfying whack from something sturdy. And ideally something rubber so I don't get electrocuted. I have a plan. Use piss. I feel like someone once told me that pissing on electrical equipment is a bad idea. Can't remember why exactly, but I'm not gonna risk it regardless. Okay. I tried. Uh, use uh, use the rubber, use the shoes. I'm in. I gave it some welly. All right, leaking battery. Pick it up. Can't just pick that up. I'll get electrocuted. I can give it a sturdy whack with something non-conductive. Oh, we're doing another round? We gotta do another round with the shoes. The fuck is a welly? Like Moonspeak from like beyond the oceans. Hey, no recycling jokes. Uh, okay, no recycling jokes until the next level at least. Nice. He was about to say it again. I was, he was gonna say, I'm gonna give it a welly again. 
I still don't know what a welly is. Welly is a kind of shoe? Yuck. God, you people talk so weird. I'm talking, I'm saying you people as in anyone from the UK, I'm guessing. This battery is leaking a particularly volatile acid. Good job my fingers can't feel pain or else this might be jolly sore. Man, this is a, when you talk in an accent like what I've given him and how, I told you you'd find walking easier once you took your hanky on a stick out of your pocket. I liked my old walk. It was jovial. Dude, I, I, I like that I'm basically like just saying all their weird British terms in like a, in like a fucking good old fashioned nice voice, as I like to call it a good voice. And it just makes it sound so fucking horrible. And therefore brings attention to the fact that the entirety of UK dialect weird shit they say just sounds so weird in any other language. It's fucking, it, it, like any accent, it's funny. And I'll stop me ripping on, ripping on the things people say in the UK. It's just like, it's just wild. It's wild. It's like, a, it's like Sam saying howdy in the real world. You know what I'm saying? It's like him just saying howdy. He can't say that. You know what I'm saying? It's wrong. Creepy vine. Uh, pull. These are thick Peruvian vines. They're far too strong. Maybe I can weaken them somehow. Yes, perhaps, perhaps we can with the power of a leaky battery. Aha! Success. This acidy battery is going to come in pretty useful, I can tell. Uh-oh. Some sort of jumping beast monster in there. Dan! Use your platformer skills and jump on this damn thing, will you? Fiddlesticks. That jump is way too high for my current platformer skills. My boring single jump skills aren't gonna cut it here. I'm gonna need to do some sort of double jump upgrade in order to progress. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're worrying about the, the jump beast right now. Here. I killed it. It's dead. The monster's defeated. Ben. Investigate the monster, please. And, um... Another, another one of these stupid walls. Dan, pop and see if there's one of those pressure switches to get me up there, won't you? All right. Trumpet bottom creature. Uh, use inventory. Pee on it? I'm not putting that near this thing. Okay. Uh, then in that case, pick it up. Aha! A fine addition to my inventory. A deflated jumping beast with long, thin arms like shoelaces. I see. Okay, well, I need to get the other one, I'm guessing, so I can make two of them for a full pair. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Dan to do me a solid and get my character up, upstairs. So I can get the other one. Eh. All right. Let's get that other, let's get that other jumping thing. Right here, yes, perfect. Pick it up. Yet another sentient creature murdered by Dan in his humanitarian quest. That's two jumping creatures, which oddly enough, is the same number of feet Dan has. Are you telling that about how many feet I have? Yes! Is it still two? Yeah, it's still two. Okay. That's good. That means we can craft uh, new feet once we get him down. I love the dialogue. Yeah, no, the dialogue in this game is what I wanted to play. It's very... The dialogue in this game is, like, so casually, like... It's just good writing to me. I like it a lot. Uh, all right. Let's pop open the inventory screen and... Two trump bottom creatures. It's the leftover jumpy bits of two innocent beings that Dan crushed to death. The lad still got some adventure in him. Oh my god, combine it with the shoes. Hurrah! A massive trial! I have successfully created a- Wait, 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 what are you doing? What? I'm, I'm combining objects in my inventory just like I always do. Look. I'm gonna insist on sticking to old, boring, 1995 ways of doing things. At least call it crafting from now on. <laughs> it 
That's what all the kids are calling it now. Do you want the bloody things or not? Okay. So let's, uh, let's give him the. Let's slide down this hill and give him the give him the shoes. Actually, first I want to wear them myself. These things are a death trap. I'm not putting them on. I'll trick some other idiot into wearing them. Yes. Here you go. I can bind up some double jump boots. Oh, look, Ben. What a lovely handy new item you've crafted there. Fine. I have crafted some double jump boots for you. Here. Uh. He's becoming more powerful, chat. He got moon shoes. <laughs> I had moon shoes. And I'll tell you what, chat. They didn't help me. I don't think... I think I was able to jump... Uh, I don't think... I think it made me jump lower than when I, could, when I had my normal feet. I definitely had moon shoes, though. I tried them. I definitely was not able to jump higher with those things on. And they were death traps. Double jump. I mean, jumping is ridiculous enough as is, but these boots will bestow a second preposterous mid-jump jump. So you can jump, high, so you can reach higher heights than ever before. Oh my god. Uh-huh. And you do that every time you put your shoes on, do you? <laughs> I like, I, I love the fucking dynamic in this game. All right, we're up. What is this? I don't want to touch that. I think that's, I think that's bad. Ah, all right, we got a uh, we got a platform to pull him up now. Where's this? Where's the? Where's it come out of now? Is it above or below? Oh, okay, it's there. All right. Am I sitting on it right now? I am. That's why. Okay. I think I'm already ready for this with the fucking breathing tube already in. That's a bug that's in the game that they've covered needs to be fixed, and for some reason they haven't fixed it yet. It's not a big deal, but for some reason if Dan jumps on Ben, he gets teleported under him for a second before he gets fixed. It happens every time. Yeah, I did this right. Ghastly. Investigate. It's from for the totem pole. There's a switch so I can press. Yeah, use it. It's off now. As the gas disperses, it should be safe. Okay. Let's pull this lever. It seems that some switches require me to stand here like a lemon next to them. They'll deactivate if I move. Okay, so uh, this is a. Uh... We're in! Oh my god, could it be the flower that cures cancer? No, it's not. It's just more. place. I have to go downstairs now. Thank you. Look! There's a crate hanging from a rope! I bet we'll have to use all sorts of swinging and trigonometry and stuff to get past this bit. I hope we get to make a seesaw that put loads and loads and loads of things on one side. Jesus, help me. He's just down there. Okay, uh... Oh, I should have taken him off of this before I jumped down. I... When he said trigonometry, I started getting shakes, chat. I started physically panicking. Whoa, 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 Go over here. That looked fucked up. <laughs> oh, we're fine. Alright, let's take a little... Let's look around here. We have a... Here we have an obvious trap. <laughs> Only a total idiot wouldn't realize this is a trap. Hey, Dan? There's something glinting back there. Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> he was smiling. Did you see that? Chat? Ben smiled. Hang on, let me just check again. <laughs> That's still... Got it. No, that time he didn't laugh. That time he just stared. Okay. Use inventory. Can I do anything with it? I'm gonna pee on it. I'm not sacrificing that. Okay. Come on, Ben. 
treasure. Push. I wouldn't be able to shift it even a little bit. Besides, I have no intention of feeling gold this adventure. Okay. Okay. Another one of these crates. This is your brave new world, is it, Dan? Crate pushing? Adventurers have been doing that since at least 2003, mate. Aha, but they're not symbolic of psychological blocks when you do it. So it's not as cool. He's right. He's right, chat. That's the problem is that he's right. God damn it! He's right. <laughs> the hell? I think we need to find a way to push this thing. I'll get up there. Actually, no, I can't. I really can't. Okay, what do we do then? Hanging crate. I can't push it. I wouldn't be able to shift it. Oh, yes. Even a little bit. Besides, I have no intention of feeling gold right now. Okay. I give up. This game's too complicated. I, I, I can't beat it. Chat, it's over. I'm stranded here. Hang on. Of course. Just use the battery again. It's the most powerful tool in the whole game. <laughs> oh man, this battery is super overpowered. I'm just gonna burn holes in everything. The adventure will be done in a jiffy. Yeah. Oh. Dan? Dan, move this for me. Blimey, Dan. Gold is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. How are you even pushing that? Either my big beefy platforming hands have made me inhumanly strong, or it's gold-plated lithium. Good. I don't think we, uh... Oh, I see. Gotta do it like that. Okay. I'm up. Now I can get over here. And fuck with this. No, this doesn't seem safe. Ben? Ben's like under this. <laughs> ben! Oh, he's over here now. Okay. Damn, that battery must have fallen out. This whole complicated setup does make sense. I didn't... I did, hang on, I gotta read that again. The battery must have fallen out. That at least explains why it's not in the sky anymore. Okay. I see. We need to find the battery. I'm on this side now. It doesn't really help me yet, though. What can I do with... What can I do with the whole plane? Is the thing. Push it over here. To the obvious trap? I don't think so. Well, I guess I'll plug in the battery. I didn't- I wanted to keep the Dude, the battery's so fucking OP. <laughs> what am I, some sort of big-fisted freak? I'm not moving this thing, I can't push this. Only a preposterous little whippet with hands the size of planets could shift this. Ooh! <laughs> oh no. Stop being so mean to him. Alright. Hey, Dan, keep your head right there. Pretty impressive that this battery is continually leaking acid, and yet still is pre presumably going to be able to power a small airplane. That's incongruous jungle tech for you, I guess. What's this game about? Curing cancer. According to Dan. Careful! Okay, we good. I think I know how to use this. Help! Yes! Yes! Uh, perfectly exactly what I intended to happen. Come on, let's go! Yes! The battery! No! No, it can't be dead! It's not dead. It's that leaky battery. Take it again. It's not done. Pick it up. The top got chopped off and all the commotion. It's still full of acid. It's just now in a handy, drinkable format instead. 
Okay. He's still alive, Chad. He's still alive. We can still use him. He's still got fight in him. He's in drink form. What is that? Like the fourth use for this leaky old battery? I'd have, car I, I, I'd have carried more of them if I knew they were this useful. I'm guessing is what he said. I accidentally skipped the dialogue. Floor switch and lever. Pull it. Oh, oops. Pull it. Stay there. See, this game's fucking nice, dude. I really like it so far. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Bye then. It's fun. <laughs> Get the flower. Oh wait, I can't even pick up the flower. I have to have Ben do it. Well, this is the only flower we've seen so far in the entire jungle. So I'm guessing this is the one Dan was banging on about. It's metaphorical, not magic. Okay, I can't talk to him. All right, pick it up. Prillo. Here you go, Dan. The exact flower we need to, for Matt C's colon cancer. Yes! Whatever life throws at us, together we'll muddle through every time. Can we go home now? Game's over. We won. Short game. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole game. Actually, apparently this game's like 10, 15 hours long. It's pretty long. How was it? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. What? London, two weeks later. The cancer! It got mad! I swear, it feels like London gets worse every time we come back. I don't remember all this destruction and underlying sense of dread and whatnot. All the apocalypses have come at once. Run, you idiot! This spot won't stay sheltered forever! That's a dinosaur. I can't run! I'm an adventurer! I might be able to manage quick walking, although honestly that still seems a little fancy for me. They'll have to give me a piggyback ride. No chance I'm setting that precedent. You'll put near infinite concrete slabs in your bindles and jump on my back without warning. That's not an issue. This is an infinite space zero weight inventory. Standard adventure. Mm, well, let's give it a go then. Stand still while I come up to you and activate you. Ah, you're far too heavy. This must at least partly be your huge full to bursting point bladder. Honestly, you spend these hours and hours on these adventures, walking, talking, and using, you never take a quick wee break. You're gonna do yourself a nasty one one of these days. Go use your bladder with a pile of rubble or something. Maybe you platforming brutes will leave yourselves whenever you like, but I'm gonna hold on for proper civilized facilities, thank you, or a grain. I'll always take the opportunity to piss on a grain. Okay, let's go find some rubble. Does this count? No, that's not good enough. Rubble, rubble. That's a grave. That's a crushed human corpse. Uh, it looks like a corpse of a clown. All right, let's, uh, yeah, it's entrails. How entraily? My God, the apocalypses must have set loose a bunch of wild animals. And they're running around ripping people apart. Or it can be unrelated. I mean, everyone hates clowns. It's a clown corpse. This is perfect. 
pick it up. Ugh, no chance by picking up any of this. Can't tell what's intestine and what's willy. Oh, 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 Ben. I pee on it. The cure for cancer. Miracle cure. Rendered ironic by the arrival of the apocalypse. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good. All right, let's piss all over this thing. I feel like pissing on the clown's entrails wouldn't be funny somehow. Wait, really? Have to find something else? Fine. Can I just do it here? Is this good enough? No, I need, I need a fucking, I need a place to dispose of this piss. Chat, I guess I'll go this way. I can't, I'm never clearing that gap. God, I can't get up this massive step all on my own. I'm not cut out for physical stuff. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Dan's help for this one. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a clown ripped in half, chat. I'm gonna have to get this box pushed over. All right. This guy is such a baby. He's an adventurer, chat. There's a difference. But yeah, shocking to me. This game hasn't gotten much attention on Steam, which is um a fucking god awful shame, to be honest. So, if it looks good to you, you should get it. Probably, if I were you. What up, Dan? What do I do now, Dan? There's no rubble here, Dan. Ben's still far too heavy. My bladder's full, let me find a way to empty it. Just wee it out. Oh, heavens no, I only wee on two places, toilets and graves. The clown body doesn't count as a grave. <laughs> Gravity's gotten up. Oh my God, this is just everything I ever dreamed it would be. Okay. Oh, that's the full clown now. That's the full clown down there. Clown. Talk to him. I'm sorry, what was one of the options there? What was that one? I saw one that said suck. On the clown. Suck clown? Suck clown. Hey clown, you dead? Called it. Yeah, he's dead. Oh man, I love a clown. Look at him bleeding entrails all over the floor. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Such a wonderful, wholesome humor. Yes. All right, suck clown. I should be able to breathe in some of the helium keeping him up, which per science will make me much lighter. We're not even pissing. He's gone all silly. <laughs> you still look too heavy to lift. Is your bladder engorged? Yes, it's still incredibly engorged. I don't think I want to touch that. For my for my work, I do not think I want to touch that. Like go down there for sure. What I think I want to do is this. Motherfucker, what the shit are you doing, Dan? What the fuck was that there? Keep going. Let's go this way. There's gotta be something way up here that I can use for my work. Something up here on this ledge, for sure. What? You fucking what? Gravity's going left now! This is unbelievable! I've never seen this before! Left gravity! So innovative! Brillo, 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 brillo. This isn't good. I'm gonna go crazy like this. I'm stuck. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna get sick. Brillo, 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 brillo. There's a vending machine here. TV. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, look at this. Wait a minute. Here we go. I've never done strenuous pushing outside the loo before. 
Ah, I get it. Well, this is a toilet. We got him what we, what we came for. How do I fix myself? Ah, we'll worry about it later. I'm gonna go. It's one of those old-fashioned outdoor toilets they had back in the olden days. Oh. Uh. Open. Okay. The door is open. Step one of a successful Wii complete. Now for the messy phases. Hey. Dang it out of here. Don't like get into like the gravity thing. Flip back. There you go. I'm gonna do it, chat. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use it. I can't just use this toilet. I need to use my bladder on the toilet. You feeling all right? Yeah, just adventurer pipe work, chat. It's complicated down there. Okay. There's a lot of steps to this. Use. Ah, that hit the spot. Hurrah! With your empty bladder and wonderfully light lungs, I can carry you wherever you need to go. No more taking turns walking like a pair of idiots. Pick him up. Piggyback. We can now piggyback, just like real grown-ups. Upgrade plus plus. Hurrah! Now I can be Ben's personal taxi service, which means we won't have to take turns walking anymore. Whoosh. Whoosh. Zoom. He's still pretty heavy. I can't clear much height like this. Brillo, brillo, brillo. Aha! Let me down so I can use that switch. I can't interact with anything from up here. It's too erotically charged. Stop. Hang on, I'm like, I gotta like, get out of this. Mm. <laughs> It might be a good idea if I don't put you down for this bit. I'll get us back to the flat in one piece, and then you can resume your precious autonomy. Good call. I don't want to risk scuffing my shoes on anything apocalyptic. Whoosh. Let's go, Chet! Stop putting your fingers in my eyes, I can't see! You're lucky, mate. It's horrible out here! <laughs> ah! Hey! Hey! Oh, Jesus, mother of God! What the fuck? Fair warning. I've just done a Trump. Me too. Really? This is all the apocalypses. <laughs> just done a Trump, huh? Ah! No! Ah! Sorry, no, sorry, now. Okay, now. Not happening. Okay. Here we go, Jack. We're almost down. I got a good feeling we're pretty close. I totally could have solved this with dialogue, you know. Man, why don't you use some of that dialogue to shut up? He's really distracting. He is distracting me right now. of this game and how good the art is that I'm not looking at where I'm walking. <laughs> like, I'm just looking at the shit behind me and being like, oh wow, this looks so good. That, like, I'm just walking into spikes and dying over and over. The art in this game is great. Jesus. Is that a f I almost died there again. Head for that small shit! It may provide some small sucker against that giant tentacle monster! <gasps> ah! What happened? What happened? Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, Brillo hiding place, dude. <laughs> Rickety old shed. Hey, it was this or the toilet, okay? That's a nuke. 
Oh, didn't do much either. What are we doing? <laughs> Trying to find somewhere safe to hide. In the hopes of outliving all the apocalypse is going on. Oh yeah. You think I'd remember that? Seems a pretty easy thing to remember. Any hints? <laughs> yeah, look at everything. Looking at things is like a built-in hint system. Aren't you a built-in hint system? Sorry, you're on your own. I only know about things like wall jumping now. Can you wall jump? Not yet, but I'm thinking of working up to it. What level is this? It's level three. It's level three. You can tell because the graphics need tightening up. Nice. Okay. Goodbye. We're not dead yet. Just a matter of time, though. I disagree that the graphics need tightening up. I think this game looks fucking incredible. This is an aw. This is an awesome example of like really good pixel work in a game. Genuinely. Neat hat. Talk to. Hello? Mind if I take your hat? Doesn't seem to mind at all. Okay, I'm gonna take his hat. Seems to be stuck to his sticky head. He must have very sticky hair. Some people just have sticky hair. It's definitely a thing. Shame, because it's such a neat hat. I refuse to just, like, give up. Use the acid. The hat is stuck to his sticky head. If I can eat away at some of the hairs... And loosen the hat up. Oh. Eh, close enough. The shield badge has a name on it. Looks like I'm taking Ian Courage here along for a ride. Welcome aboard, Ian. All right, Ian. What is this, water? It's water. The hell? How's this thing? Banging door. Open. I'm not opening that. Who knows what matter of complicated beast might be behind there? Probably a pan-dimensional liquid beast or a werewolf with 30 arms. It's doubtless something hard to draw regardless. I see, I see. Yes. Uh, where? Okay. What is this, what is this laser thing that's happening right now? I don't think this hat, this person's disembodied head is very helpful right now. I'm gonna piggyback this guy over. I forget, I forgot I had that ability now. Come here. Yes, door. Pull. It's far too heavy for my tiny and practical arms. Premium items? Wait, where? Stuck? Visit store for premium items. The five size store is online. Oh god, what could be in here? We're not quite ready to bring it online just yet. Please pop back and pay us a visit. We launch on day, month, and year. Oh. Oh. Has a puzzle got you stumped? Don't want to think your way to a solution? Don't check a walkthrough. We're delighted to offer you these premium inventory items to help you on your adventure a little bit. That's the seesaw. <laughs> I think that's the seesaw they were talking about before. I think that's supposed to be a goof. Yes. That's a that's a goof, chat. That's a goof. Cause I've been sitting here for too long. Hey. Weird floor pad. There's a little pressure pad on the floor. It seems to activate some sort of trendy laser. Oh! That was very specific what I needed to do. Access! We're in. Blast. Now that the door's broke, these damned apocalypses are weaseling their way in everywhere. There are weasels now too? These apocalypses are getting worse by the second. The door's broken. Hang on. Eh. Oh, shit, I gotta move him. We're in. Yes. This is all very weird. 
That apocalypse is still sounding awfully close. I think we should try to get underground so we can safely figure out which dastardly supervillain is behind all this and how to stop him. Or her. It's a scientific fact that fewer than 5% of supervillains are female, actually. Sexist dinosaur. Yes, that would be statistically more likely. I see, yes. What is all this? This has no exit. One of us needs to find the other end first. I feel like this is something that I'd bring up uh, Ben for. Fire. I need a good run to jump up, ju to jump that fire. And my legs are still too weak and noodly for sprinting. I'll do some circuits of this office to work out my calf muscles. Should only take a few months. We don't have that long. It's the apocalypse. Hold on, I'll try to combine you up some steroids or something. Crap that Ben! We're never going to remain relevant if you resolutely refuse to use 21st century lingo. He's right. This is getting pathetic, Ben. You're not willing to learn. You're like an old man. Craft them. I don't want beer. I don't want to open that. Look at. Hooray! These things all have little descriptions to read. This one says. Ancient Atlantean device, batteries not included. Take it. Oh no, I know how it goes with these ancient trinkets. You pick one up, suddenly you've got ten of the things, and you're trying to put them all in the right order or whatever. Unless I spot any Atlantean big purple spanners, I'm steering clear. Okay. There's this big footprint. These fossilized footprints show that with no protection, the Bigfoots were viciously wiped out by small predator species. Someone's crossed out Bigfoots and written Big Feet with a marker. Surely it should be Bigfoots. Definitely not. The cube. Extra dimensional artifact. Do not stare directly at this artifact as it has been, mo been known to cause temporary madness. Yeesh. Keep it nailed in a box, then. <laughs> Take it. I wouldn't even know where to start picking this up. That's too many sides. I don't have enough hands. Leaving this, uh, leaving this thing well alone. Okay. Dinosaur egg? Velociraptor egg. The fastest of the dinosaurs, yet still could not outrun their own doom. The egg's bouncing around, making it immediately more enticing than all the other things. I guess maybe one of the apocalypses is dinosaurs coming back? Or it's making eggs wobble. Take it. I do love a good egg. Cool skull! The dinosaurs evolved to the point of developing bifocals, yet they still could not see their doom. <laughs> Whoever this office belonged to, they certainly trained their employees in dramatic irony. Oh no. <laughs> What's this? Scrolls from Atlantis. One can be roughly translated as climate change is a myth. Unfortunately, the remaining scrolls are too water damaged to be legible. Alright. Shall we? How many did eat this egg? Damn! Eat this egg. It might give you Velociraptor running powers. No way am I eating a raw egg. You made me do this, you son of a bitch. You're making me do this to you. Fine. Combine. No, 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 I didn't want to use it. I wanted to combine it. I'm gonna cook this with acid. The dino egg DNA, combined with the raw power of this exceptional battery, will produce a long-lasting energy drink, giving the drinker the ability to move with raptor-like speed. I'm not eating a raw egg! It's still bouncing around, for heaven's sake! Yeah, that's even better. 
It's free range. Come on, you'll get raptor speed powers. I'll get a stinky bottom is what I'll get. No rags for me. Oh my god, he still doesn't want it? No. Oh my god. This fucking asshole. He's really gonna make me work for it. Fine. I can't get up there though. Hang on. Ah. Yes. That was weird. My molecules feel all itchy. Tiny hot demons. Wait, what do you mean? Thousands upon thousands of tiny hot demons. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Just a bunch of small demons. Very, very hot small demons. Okay. Uh, use inventory. Let's cook this egg. Ow, ah! Hot! How do chefs do this all day long? I don't think they just jab things into the fire with their fingers, Ben. Well, what choice did I have? I don't have a whisk or anything lying around here, do you? Whatever. Anyway, the egg is cooked now, or ostensibly edible. Okay, there we go. Now, we combine it with the battery. Aha! The dino DNA combined, I mean crafted with this magnificent battery has produced, produced an astonishing energy drink. If Dan drank this, he'd have raptor-like speed. I assume so, anyway. I got D minus in chemistry. Okay. Dan? Nope, wrong thing. Some sort of ancient portal. Forgotten technology allowing instantaneous teleportation between two points. Probably safe to just give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Move off of that. Uh, use inventory? This shouldn't be safe. Hang on, examine? A makeshift energy drink containing electricity and dino DNA. Should get Dan's little legs moving. Okay, we're not gonna talk about how dangerous this could be using. Look, I crafted you a protein shake energy drink combo. Drink up, Weedling. You mean you put an ancient rotten egg in some battery acid? No way am I drinking that. You're aware that Mario eats poisonous mushrooms to go massive, right? Come on, think of England. Oh, all right. Power up! He got the sprint ability! An arcane potion has given me the mysterious ability of speed. I can leap longer distances and outrun moderately fast enemies. Brillo, brillo, brillo. Delicious! Really? No. I have now acquired the ancient mystical art of running, which should come in handy, especially as I suspect in the near future I will need to be running very quickly to a toilet bowl. Oh my god. Look at that fucking sonic speed! Ha! Wow! Look at me go! I'm increasingly sonic -y. Hopefully this will finally lead to some fan art. Uh, I'm not sure you want Sonic-esque fan art, dude. Sure I do! Send it in! No you don't. Don't say that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh no. Even my beautiful platformer tiles have started to become infected by the apocalypse's look. I should tread carefully. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, spikes. I can't read this, but I know who can. Have a play with that, Ben. But I don't know tech stuff. You're the one who does all the computer-based diddly daddly what's it. Not anymore, matey. I'm a man of action now. Standing on pads is as cerebral as I get. Besides, my hands are far too colossal and muscular for those tiny keys. Malfunctions, damage, voice commands only. Oh, phew. Don't worry, Dan. I've got this sorted. Okay. I need to get back down there, though. Oh, I can just carry him. I'm not getting... Uh oh, this is fucked.
Uh, use. I can't use a computer. I'm not some kind of elite keyboard using hacker. I don't understand buttons. Warning! Primary UI broken. Voice activation mode enabled. Mouse will be easier. I'll use my mouth. Oh, jeez, I don't even know where to begin. Look at pornographic pictures. Save that. Help. Help! Function corrupted by external impact with flaw from great height. Knackers. 10 print bums, 20 go to 10. What is that? Bums, 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 Log off. It is now safe to switch off your computer. I didn't get anything out of that at all. Is this here? Looks like a lift, but there aren't any buttons to push. Hello. C who said that? It is I. A talking lift. Your intellectual and corporeal superior. A talking lift. Will wonders never cease. So what? You're talkable too? My, my. Seems I was too hasty to rubbish your intellectual prowess. Yes, the talking lift is talkable too. Go nuts. Take us downstairs, please. Are you maintenance? Oh, what, like a janitor? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Take me down so I can uh, clean up, please. Password. Good manners cost nothing? Incorrect. Reset password, please. Password reset. Replacement password set to local inbox. Thank you ever so much. Terribly kind of you. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, now we got the inbox. Read email. One email unread from Lyft. Ground floor London entrance reads, your password has been reset. New password is, lifts are the best, message ends. Oh, this is gonna stink. Log off. It is now safe to switch your computer off. I just get Dan in position now. Take us down. Password. Lifts are the worst. <laughs> No! Try again. Okay, lifts are the best. <laughs> lifts are the best, apparently. Haha! <laughs> Alright, fine. If in you come, I'll take you down. Here we go. Good luck, idiots. I love elevators! <laughs> ah, it goes pretty deep, actually. My eyes! The stream is too spicy! <laughs> Someone put too much paprika on this stream. Where are we? Wow. I think we're safe from the apocalypse is down here for now. This place is rather ominous itself. Let's have a wander. All right, but don't go too far. Yes, Dad. This beguiling door is rusted shut. What a boring way to block our path. Doors suck. It's slightly open in the middle. With something long, thin, and sturdy, I might be able to press that button on the other side. Your penis! I said thin. Yeah. No idea there. Weird. Weird. 
Dan, you'd bring that up. Not using my cock like that. Whatever, let's go. Big underground transfer vehicle. Terribly tempting to clamber into, of course, but it seems to be deactivated. Mm, there's no power going to those controlled computers, but it looks like they've locked up. Maybe they've run out of memory or got a virus or something. I don't know, Dan was the computer guy. Hey, if the computers need buttons standing on or gem collecting, I'm your man. I don't like new Dan. I don't even know about old Dan. Big monitor with a face. Hey, Dan. You know how humans can see faces and random things? No, that totally looks like a sleeping face. Okay. Why would I talk to a monitor? That's madness. Okay. I guess that's nothing. Got some massive cogs. This cog looks at least a hundred years old. If I could whistle, I'd be doing a really impressed one right now. Oh God, a fellow non-whistler. I was wondering if we'd ever see one. Wait, what's that? Ooh! Item get! Hey, you just picked that thing up. What happened to your straight edge, no inventory attitude? Doesn't count, I'm just collecting. Anything floaty and shiny as platformers, nab them. I can't do anything with it, it just disappears off somewhere. Sounds like a Scythian nightmare, but fine. This is that it activated this thing. Hang on, those computers just powered up. What is this? The collectible did something after all. Huh, well, as long as it just unlocks a new area, that's fine. Don't expect me to start crafting items or anything. Uh, seems like this is where the transfer vehicle will go through. I wonder where it leads to. Hope it's not hell. That place sucks. Hell is it green? It's red. Don't you know anything? How do you know that? Red is anger because hell is angry. Green is envy, I think? What's yellow? Easy. Wee wee. Okay. Let's, um, let's climb in. Well, as an adventurer, I'd say we should blindly jump into this cart and head off into the unknown. Unless that's too old hat for you, Dan. Uh, no, that's pretty standard platformer procedure too, actually. Let's go, chat! Come on! Emotes detected. Mechanic system rebooting. Experience construct loading. Joy. Uh -huh. We're dead. We're alive. <laughs> oh wow, this looks so fun. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no! No, we cannot be here. We sure, we surely cannot. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Classic, straight up platforming action. I'll be in my element. Looks like hard work. Oh, come on. I'm sure we'll manage to muddle through together. <laughs> We're here until you get... Well, I'll wait here until you need fingers. I need fingers. <laughs> All right. Use. Oh. Use. Sonic level chat. Ben, I need your fingers, please. That guy just got crushed. No, he's alive. He's fine. Look! Oh my god, chat. Oh my god. <laughs> miles and miles of beautiful platforming. This is pure joy, all right. And it's even got a sponsorship deal with an unhealthy food brand. How delightfully retro. I'll let you know when I need your fingers. Well, I don't see how a load of platforming bought. Bollocks is so joyous for me. 
Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Ah, oh. All right, this is more like it. A big room full of brillo objects and characters for me to interact with. Whatever this construct thing is, it does a good joy. Okay. Decontamination. Welcome to Platformer Reincarnation. Please do not jump or wall grab during the decontamination process. Kindly identify yourself, Platformer. Huh? Oh. Benny Boing Bottom. Welcome aboard, Benny. Some sort of gas. <laughs> oh, this game is good. <laughs> Greetings. Please proceed to the reincarnation gate and you will be returned to the correct checkpoint. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Little disoriented, perfectly normal. This is the respawn center. Proceed to the reincarnation gate. Dispose of any death-related items and you'll be zapped back to the appropriate checkpoint based on the cause of your death. I want to respawn at the end, please. Your final checkpoint is just before a Mark III drowning hazard. So if you wanted to respawn there, I guess you'd show symptoms of drowning. What are the symptoms of drowning? Well, you'd be three things. Yes! This is perfect, go on. Well, you'd be wet, obviously, and blue, makes sense. And you'd have green seaweed on you. Makes less sense, but okay. So I need to get, I need to get wet, I need to get blue, I need to get seaweed on me, and then they'll teleport me to the end of the level. Why are you a dinosaur, though? Well, this is the afterlife, and we're extinct, which is like mega dead. So we're the perfect fit, really. Try not to think about it too much. It'll fry your tiny human brain. Don't you have the bra a brain the size of a walnut? That's a myth. We are actually 99% brain, which is how we managed to make the respawn systems that are currently saving your tiny walnut mind. Okay? Okay. Can I take your name from my records, please? Of course, it's Diana. Diana Nitrous. It's a very clever joke, but since the Jurassic Park came out, no one gets it. I don't know, I think I mispronounced it, so I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Ex chat! Explain it to me! No! Dionysus is a dinosaur? I don't give a shit about dinosaurs! Chat, they're dead! Fuck that! Goodbye. Have a fun death! No. What is this? Who are these clowns? Paintbrush platform. Oh, this game is so fucking good. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm uh, Ben uh, Body Burps. Who are you? Violet. So, a fellow platformer, what's your gimmick? My, my what? Uh, unique power. Oh. Well, depending on what emotion I'm feeling, I turn a certain color and get an ability. So, if I look at a sick puppy or whatever, I get sad and can walk on blue floors. That kind of thing. So you're basically a human mood ring? Cool, eh? If I touch things with my paintbrush, they turn the same color as me. It's a neat metaphor for how our moods affect those around us. Also, I can use the brush for bashing things to death. Ah, there it is. Of course you can. So what are your different moods then? Red is anger. Okay. Orange is joy. Yellow is ennui. Very good. Oh yeah, I just got that. Green is envy, blue is sadness, and um, purple is regret. Purple? Come on. 
Who can tell indigo and violet apart? Good point. It's still on Wii. Man, this is a long queue. Yeah, I've been here for ages already. What's taking so long? Wow. Make her angry. I just spoke to a platform with pretty much the same powers as you. She said you're just a, cl a cheap clone. <sighs> Make her sad. You ever just feel really alone, but no one gets you and you have no friends? I bet you don't feel like that. I bet you have loads of friends. I bet you're always hanging out with your friends and laughing. Um, make her envious. I saw a game mechanic once where you could send objects forwards or backwards in time so a chunk of dinosaur flesh would become oil. Is that how oil works? Yes! It definitely is. Wow. In which case, I am super envious. I was bullying this person. Let's leave them on Wii. Oh, there's more. There's more voice lines. I had this really weird dream last night. It was me. Well, it wasn't me, but it was me. And I was sort of in this weird, like, house. But it was also a hotel and a boat. And you were there. And all the guests were... Yeah. There we go. We'll leave her like that. Bye bye. Bye bye. So who's this one? Who are you? Typer... Tapir Tammy. Hello, my name is... Whatever. Uh... B... Ah... <laughs> uh, I assumed you were... Anthropomorphi anthropomorphized, you'd be able to talk human. Just scream. Yeesh. Okay. Can't talk. Hey. Howdy, fellow platformer. I'm, I guess, Benito Bounce Around or whatever. Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm Spartacus Spanner. I run around jumping from platform to platform, fixing leaky pipes, fixing broken droids, that kind of thing. And that's what the Spanner's for? Oh no, that's for bashing things to death. Of course it is. What are you, some sort of a hedgehog? Mm. Oh, the spikes? No, no, these are my manner of death. Miss time to particularly fiddly jump in the inevitable slippy, slidey ice level. Got them jammed in tight. Oh, so they're free for the taking? Forgive me, I'd have nicked one in my way past if I'd known where they came away. No, I'll need to deposit them at the reincarnation gate before I respawn. I dropped my spanner if you yanked my a spike out of me. Really? Double bonus. Is that a hollow spanner? Sure is. Latest 31st century tech this is. Fits to almost any size of nut or bolt or whatever. Just hold it close and it auto adjusts. Wow, your job is very boring. Why haven't you gone through the reincarnation? Well, my name's Spartacus Spanner, see? But in certain territories, I'm known as Monkey Wrench Mike. It's perfectly standard, but I keep getting told it's a discrepancy. So I'm filling out a Form 37X, but it's taking a bloody age. Cheery diddly bye-bye. Stuff you there. Walking cliche. <laughs> uh, how's, uh, how's Dan doing? <laughs> oh shit, baby! Let's do some fucking platforming! Ooh. Killed it! Got that one too! Lion's Roar! There's a lot of promotion actually in this Sonic game for. Bit of... I'm dead. I'm alive. <laughs> so what's that? Is that an ale train? I think that's an ale train. Is it? Yeah. That's a lion's roar ale train in the background. Wow, it's everywhere. Chad, I can't.
Wow. This is incredible. I wonder how I wonder how dense you would be. damage in a platformer? I think I've landed on an enemy, technically. What is this? Is this like a boss section? Or not? Man, this Sonic level would fucking suck, dude. I think the L's a nice touch, but there's too much of, like, the platformy style jumping that ruins Sonic in every Sonic game they make. Sonic is meant to go fast. Not to... Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa! I'm gonna need more fucking bubbles than that. I'm ready to return to the land of the living now, please. Papers, please. Papers. Platformers only. But I left my platformer papers at home. Please let me do already. Papers are required. Go to room K30 to get new papers. Next! Okay. Goodbye, walking cliche. Hang on. Ow! Ow, uh, thanks for violently wrenching that out of my back and everything, but I was gonna drop it off just before the reincarnation gate, now I have a gaping hole in my back. The whole time I'm stuck here. Sorry, my unique characteristic is uh, that I absorb the pain of others. It's a metaphor. Ah, say no more. Also my... Hey, give me that back! Hmm? Give what back? You took my spanner, give it back! I, I didn't know. You just did it right in front of me! Well, it's your word against mine, I'm afraid. Oh, forget it. See you later, walking cliche. See you later, Tapir Tammy. See you later, paintbrush platformer girl. I chose to go out here, but this place also has an enticing third floor to explore. Wow, who are you? Little dinosaur. Talk to him. Excuse me, are you the person I need to see about? I don't work here. Oh, I just assumed because you're a dinosaur. I'm not a dinosaur, I'm a dragon! Well, same thing, you're all giant lizards. We're completely different! They're extinct and do their office work. And therefore perfectly suited for working in an afterlife administration building. I'm fictional fire breathing and capable of flight. And therefore perfectly suited for platforming. Right, sorry. So if I need anything setting on fire, would you Sada? What's your name? Ghost. A terribly highbrow literary reference, no doubt. Do you have a first name? Ghost? That's my first name. My surname is T-shirt. Goth t-shirt. Goth to shirt. How do you pronounce that, chat? So I can get the joke. Goth to shirt? To goth? As a German, I love listening to Tomato mispronounce the word. Gert? Gert to shirt? Get to shirt. Go easy it. I give up. I don't fucking care enough. Wow, if you want a computer simulation, we would have an amazing. We would have amazing brand synergy. Huh? Nothing, nothing. If you can't breathe fire, why do you have a torch? I exhale propane. I still need to ignite it. Oh, that's a sad dragon. What, do you expect me to walk around with an open flame in my mouth the whole time? Don't be stupid. 
Makes sense. Hang on, this is why propane is found in oil then? Because dinosaurs exhale propane and oil is old dead dinosaurs? Firstly, I'm not a dinosaur! Secondly, oil isn't made of dead dinosaurs! Don't be stupid! Ha! <laughs> dinosaurs can fly! Pterodactyls, yeah? Pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs, they're flying reptiles! Oh. You need to do some basic dinosaur research, mate! I really do. What are you waiting at this boring looking desk for? I need an item retention permit for my torch. A what what permit for your what? Non upgrader, huh? When you go through the reincarnation gate, you have to relinquish any causes of death, right? So if you get killed by a spike, say, you drop it out there. That way you come back to life all fresh and new. The thing is, if you get an ability upgrade, you need to keep it. Oh, like if you tie dead animals to your shoes to make you jump higher? Uh, sure. Problem is, the reincarnation gate is reading this fire as a cause of death, not an ability. So I need an item retention permit to let me take it back with me. And I've been waiting forever at this blinking desk for it. Wow, platforming is more complicated than I thought. Well, I'll leave you alone, then. Don't want to let the conversation drag on. Goodbye. Oh my god, look at him. Sentient fluid monster. Hey, Jabba. Oh. I'm moderately well-known platformer, Bob the Blob. The Blob? Oh my god, chat. That's the blob. Bob the blob. He's real. Moderately well known too, just like it's actually him, dude. <laughs> it's actually him. My power is that I absorb things into my watery guts. Hi, Bob. I'm Ben. My power is an ambivalent disregard for the safety of others. Um, okay. Why are you stuck in this bureaucratic nightmare? Oh, it's something to do with my, with whether I get to keep my collected items. I've absorbed a roll of duct tape, see? It's not a cause of death, but I need a special item retention permit to hold on to it. So I've got to wait until someone comes along to help. How did you die? I tried to absorb a sponge. Haha, <laughs> you Wally. Everyone knows sponges are deadly to watermen. It's not fair, it looked like a lump of cheese. Anyway, I dropped it off at the reincarnation gate, but I'm still negotiating over the duct tape. Mind if I plunge my head into your belly? I could do with getting all wet, and that seems like a pretty neat tactic. Seems reasonable, but I'm afraid my natural surface tension levels are pretty high. You'd bounce right off. If you want to get wet, I recommend a shower. You're in the wrong place. You're in the maintenance closet. If you're after item retention permits, you want to go over to desk 2B over there. Really? Thanks, kind Samaritan. That's toilet paper in the fucking hall. Ah, it's whatever. I have a plan. To get him covered in... To get... To get the... To get the water I require. I have a plan. Character processing. Let's go. Upstairs. I wonder how Dan's getting on. Who are you That used to be a platform. Help! I like how loud it is, Chad. It makes it, it, it fits the setting, I think. Wow! This level just goes on for fucking ever, doesn't it? Surely there can't be much more. This has to end. There's a lot of, that's a lot of jump. Oh, there was a whole platform. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does it have an end? We may never know. Oh, oh fuck off. He's doing fine. Hi, what's your name? You'll need a Freedom of Information permit for that. Desk BDR 529. It's 
says on the sign of your office that your name is Ruth Lizard. Looking at signs is forbidden. This is a Bijou office. How the fuck are these words pronounced? <laughs> Bijou, right? Bijou. This is a Bijou office. It's compact, yes. Since we started getting more of you platformers coming through, we've had to move around. They've moved my desk four times already this year. I told Bell that if they move my desk one more time, then I'm going to quit. At least you don't have to move your desk to reach stuff. Do you have a permit to create silver linings, sir? Ah, uh, forget it. Are you the person I need to see for my platforming papers? Yes, but you don't look like a platformer. Oh, I definitely am. I love it. All that endless jumping and philosophical musing, endless spikes and feeling smug. Top stuff. Right then. I'll just run you through the void jump test. And once you pass that, you can have a fresh set of papers. Uh, yeah. The old void jump. Good. Great. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. You're in a desert, walking along the sand. When all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise on its back, its belly baking in the sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. What do you do? Disassemble it. Plenty explosive explosives in the ribcage, then reassemble it. Conserve my more powerful ammo by switching to my pistol. Jump on it for the one-up. I, 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 I jump on it for the one-up. Okay, thank you. Next, complete the sentence. Platforming is simple fun. No, no, no. A valid and enticing art form. Mm, yes, perhaps. For idiot babies who can't even hold objects. A valid and enticing art form. Okay, last question. Which is best to collect, rings or coins? Rings! Co trick question. As long as it goes ding, it doesn't matter. Congratulations. You've passed the test. Thank you for being a platformer and respecting the rules. Yes, I did that. I'll just get you some temporary papers and you'll be good to go. Oh, I really try to stay away from boring things like papers. Any chance you can just pop me on a list or something? We don't really... I mean, us platformers hate to pick up objects, as you know. Well, all right. I'll just give a, the guard downstairs a shout. Hey, Teresa! What? I'm sending... I'm, I'm sorry, what's your name, please? Uh, Ben... Benji Bindle. Lovely, thank you. I'm sending Benji Bindle down to you. He passed the BJ. Just let him through. How will I know who's Benji Bindle? Stop being such a job's worth. Just do it. Sorry about the wait, sir. Everything should be fine now. Uh, great, thanks. Sorry for the bother. <laughs> no bother at all. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, now we've got we've got permission to leave, technically. Is there more? There's only these. Oh, there's more. God, this place is big. What is this? Danger. No unauthorized access. There's a bolt here. I'm going to use, uh... I'm going to use my fucking wrench on it. That I have. Dance nowhere to be seen. We'll have to use our own powers now. Like the hollow spanner. The 
It's lovely and loose now. All I need to do is lever it off at the other end. And it'll flop down nicely. All right? Oh my god, I'd forgotten all about Dan. I hope he's okay. With the big smile Ben has, I don't think he actually cares. Gas tank. What the fuck are we doing up here? This is horrible. You sucker. Oh. Nah, he's levering out with something. Uh, use inventory. Use the sturdy retro pointy thing. Uh. Aha! That loosened it. Now whatever gets sucked up into the pipe from down there will be directed in the decontamination chamber. It's a hilarious prank waiting to happen. Well, there's a duct here. It's a duct. Too witty even for me to fit down. Uh, yes, I see, I see. We'll have to kill the blob. Chat. We'll have to murder him. Well, I'm gonna go back into the decontamination chamber then. But I think I gotta do a lap. Now I got permission to leave. Technically. I think they'll take everything that I have on me though, so I gotta make sure that I'm like ready. I used the wrench already. Yeah, I think I'm... They'll take anything I didn't have on me at the time of my death, so they'll take these two things, but I don't think I need them anymore. What we need is the blob. We need the water from the blob. Oh, I can just walk right in right now. I thought I'd have to kill myself with it. Well, he's dead. He gives me tape. Ah, lovely, refreshing shower. Okay. We are now wet. We only need a couple more things. And we'll be ready. Okay. Pick it up. Great. Some super sticky duct tape. A bit damp, but perfectly workable. We'll just leave this lying around. Yes. What kind of asshole would do that? Hey, uh, okay. So I need to get... What do I need to get, like, blue? I need to look blue. I gotta talk to- I gotta talk to the girl. She needs to make me blue and I need to worry about seaweed. We'll worry about that after we get blue. Uh, talk to her? Will it make her sad? Oh man, I just remembered on the way here I saw the saddest puppy. It was by the side of a road. Yeah, and it had this really sad look on its face. Because it had just been hit by a lorry. And it's guts splattered all over the pavement. So it was crying and then it died. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Touch the brush. Ah, it's so gaudy. I feel like a Star Trek animal. Oh, I'm sorry my incredible power is too tacky for you. Man, this is a long queue. Yeah, I've been here for ages already. What's taking so long? Yeah, that, that's more like it. Bye-bye. What do I still- I need seaweed still. Does, uh... Wait a minute. What's in that room? Oh! That mop. The mop. I think I gotta use the duct upstairs to get the mop here. I need to find a way to add the shrink. Put on the hat. Always wear the hat. Why am I not wearing the hat every day? Near infinite stickiness. Hmm. I'll try it up there. I don't think it'll work. The hat's like sort of my friend, this guy's like upper head. His whole deal is like sort of my thing now. I'm a I'm a darling indie platformer, and that means I have to have my gimmick. Let's try the let's try the duct tape. I can't believe I never thought to roll a roll of duct tape down a duct before. Huh, that 
worked shockingly well. Okay. Eh. Underwhelming. All right, Chet. We have everything we need to skip to the end of the platformer before Dan even gets there. See we. Thanks, Burton, for Jer. Thanks. Thank Burton for Jermaine Expressionist Shelvin. I misread it. I, I just went to like whiplash pressing tab right there. Sometimes I forget. Jermaine. J whatever the fuck. Chat. I really. Look, chat. All words are made up by idiots. Every single one. But the ones that I pronounce because I went to AP English class. Unlike most of you. I know how to pronounce everything perfectly because I went to AP and I read like fucking Grapes of Wrath for like eight months straight. So shut, shut your whore mouths. How about that? I'll have to remove a wearable item before I can wear this. Okay. Take this guy's hat off. Put on the mop head. Does this count as seaweed? Surely this is good enough. I'm sure this is good enough. Hey. I want to respawn at the end, please. <laughs> Your final checkpoint is just before a Mark III drowning hazard. If you wanted to respawn there, I guess you'd show symptoms of drowning. Repeat the symptoms of drowning one more time for me, please. Blue, wet, and covered in green seaweed. Uh. Hey, girl. Need you again. Yeah, I, I take it off me, I think, and then use it on her once it's off, so. Remove. I make it envious. I met a guy once with a unique perspective mechanic. He could make things big or small. Wow, that's super innovative. I wish I were that unconventional. Yeah, I bet. Bye bye. All right, use inventory. Use the mop. Yes. Yes. Now, chat. I've just come from horribly drowning at the end of the Sonic level. I want to respawn. At the end, please. Your final checkpoint, so if you want to respawn there, I guess you'd show symptoms of drowning. Go through the symptoms one more time for me. Blue, wet, and covered in green seaweed. That sound, that sounds like the plan for me. I am. Blue, wet, and covered in green seaweed. I guess I can go to him now and he'll put me there? I guess I don't talk to her. I guess I talk to the guy at the exit. Hey. Hi. <laughs> it's me. Benji Bindle. Allow me passage. I'm Benji Bindle. Allow me passage. Mm. Yes, you match that description. Very well. Cause no trouble. Last checkpoint, I'm suitably disguised. I'll respawn at the end of the level, saving me a, a, all matter of preposterous acrobatics. Please deposit items here before respawning. I don't think so. Send me to the final checkpoint, Negatory. Kindly deposit all illicit items prior to respawning. No chance. Hold tight, I'll do something nefarious instead. Yeah, it's literally not happening. I'm not getting rid of any of my cool junk. Ditching items in this sort of thing is a do-gooder platformer idiot would do. It's a little slot where all the goody-goody platformers hand over their junk. I shall not be using it. I could give him the uh, miracle cure for cancer. Damn it! I'll be back. 
Nah, let's respawn. Okay, I have whatever I need, then. You want guard head? Maybe I can just give him the mop. Yeah, maybe. I don't think he wants to ditch any items, though. I, I don't think he wants to lose a single item to this. Is what it sounds like. I feel like he's not going to want to ditch the mop, chat. Just because some holier-than-thou bit of ancient tech tells me to do something doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I reckon hidden away in my bindle. Should sneak it through. Okay. Maybe that's enough? Just had to take the mop off? Confirmed! It was just the mop. Yes! <laughs> Prepare to respawn in three. Very much get on with it faster, please. All right, we're in. Aha! Skipped my way through the entire level. Mm, one last hazard to get through, though. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh, Jesus, we're eons. I gotta turn down the fucking audio in this section chat, it's so loud. We're so far back. Why, Dad? Why is it like this? Oh, God. I have to, like, use my eyes. I gotta, like, look around and make sure I don't get hit by any spike sections. I'm dead. Yep, happened. The same thing happened again. The exact same fucking thing. Ah! Dad. I can't do it, Dad. It's hell, Dad. I ain't a platformer. Is this a dead body? I just gotta find checkpoints, dude. I just gotta find the next checkpoint. I'm down here. Alright. Gotta take this. I'm dead. I'm okay. I'm alright. Checkpoint. How far off are we? Still a little ways out. We'll be okay. We'll be alright. To make a point and click gaming. I'm more of a point and clicker than I am a platformer, I'll tell you what. If I had to choose one, I'm doing that one. I like clicking things. I'm easily distracted. What the fuck? That was just ale! That was like a pile of garbage that I just did. I don't know what happened. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's spikes in it. I see now. Oh my god. Dan! You've got the handling of a trash platform is what you have, Dan. You got, you got bad handling, Dan. Barely control your fucking character I can, Dan. You got bad handling. You're not a platformer, you're... Hey, you made it! Sure did! What was your half-life? Joyful. An enticing art form of running... Jumping on heads and collecting things that went ding. You? Joyful. Loads of meandering around, talking to people and stealing things. You help me up with this last hazard? You got it, pal. Wow. Everyone got something out of it. Ugh, that seaweed looks exactly like green mops. That's right. Okay. We did it. Level is complete. That was good. Oh my god. Hey, all those other platformers had jazzy gimmicks. How come you don't have one? You're my gimmick, pal. You keep making cool stuff for me, like double jump boots. Ugh, all my Brillo adventuring skills subsumed into the platformer experience like so much duct tape. Still, that's very sweet. Thanks, buddy. Construct complete. Assimilating data. Joy. Success. It was all simulation. None of those platformers were real. It was all a bunch of bullshit.
Oh, the robot's awake. Brillo, how wonderful. Thank you for sharing that joyous experience with me. Whoa, 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 who are you? I am the mechanic protector of humanity. So lovely to meet you. I am connected to all global systems, weather, tectonic, ozone, atomic, and so on. And I administrate them all for optimum protection. Unfortunately, I recently had a system crash, which caused all the chaos out there and also burned out my RAM. So I can't remember much more than that. Luckily, you two are here now. I can protect your species properly without fully emphasizing with it, of course. Empathizing with it, of course, you see. I should be able to keep my local defenses up so we'll be safe down here at least for a time. I've done full cere cerebral scans of you both. So with more new RAM, I can create the required constructs for you to go through. The 11 core emotions that make up human nature. I can absorb that experimental data and then I'll have the basic empathy levels necessary to halt the destruction above and protect humanity. I have already learnt joy thanks to you and it is wonderful. Woo! One down, ten to go. I am pumped. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Yet again, there's no supervillain to blow up, and instead we have to save the world by having a bunch of feelings. How glorious! Won't you start? All you have to do is locate some of my waylaid ram chips and pop back here for a new construct or two. It'll be a little to no bother, really. Ugh. That's a lot of core emotions, Chad. I'd like to go, I would like to activate this secret button now with my new item, surely. It's that snooty lift that brought us down here, literally and metaphorically. Shh, be nice. We may need that snooty lift to take us back up again. I want to use the door. I could use something long, thin, and sturdy like my penis to get in here, Chad. I have a plan. Use inventory. Retro pointy thing. Aha! One less boring thing in my way. Let's go, buddy. Don't forget to piggyback me. I tire of this autonomous ambulating. Yes, Look at this place down here. It's incredible. Blimey, look at all this film equipment. Some of it is proper antique. I think I can push this. No, I can't. I can't push this. It's missing a wheel. Okay, we're not going that way. Look at all this. I can sprint with him on me. Yeah, I can clear that. Nice. Pull it. What does this do for me? Oh, brilliant. Well done. What? Now we're both stuck in here until the timer runs out. Whoops-a-daisy. Okay, we should make sure one of us is always on the other side of the door when I pull this lever. Oh, so I just leave him here. <laughs> skip. Just did a big skip. Big progress skip. Right there. Wait a minute. What the hell? What's this? I need Ben again over here. Jesus Christ. Okay, what is this thing? Wait. Wait. This has no exit. Oh, we don't know where it goes. Alright. Uh, I want to check this like weird pad thing down here. Okay. Mm, intriguing. This door seems to be from ancient or more boring times. Finally, some mystery. I have nothing else I can do with it. Pop back on it. I don't see what that did for me. But I also can't get back up. I mean, basically, there's no point in Ben doing anything but being over here doing this. So. 
Maybe it, maybe it deactivated by accident when I pulled it last time. Like, it, it, I missed it. Nope. Surely I'm missing something. No, 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 no. I'm not crazy. I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to do. I need to ask for a hint from Dan. He'll help me. This is a long fucking time ago. But yeah, considering that was one of 11 levels, yes, this game is fairly long. Definitely not something I'm going to be beating on stream. I mainly wanted to stream this because I thought, one, it's great, and two, uh, if you are interested in it, I think it's $15 for the whole game. So uh, go buy it and support the devs because this game is great and very fascinating. That's honestly my best recommendation I can give. I need to talk to Dan. What did you make of joy? What did you make of joy? It made real life feel somehow drab and uninteresting. Although I fed joy into the mechanic while I was there. Since we got back, I haven't felt joy once. Oh, well, chin up, eh? How did we meet again? At high school. Don't you remember the exciting adventure we had? As chronicled in the exciting visual novel Devil's Kiss? My size five games? Oh yeah! That certainly was a crazy, fun, short, free bonus adventure. Which you literally get when you buy this game, by the way. Now, I found that in my library on Steam and I was not sure how it got there. They give it to you for free when you buy the game. And it's actually a visual novel. What's going on? The mechanic said once they have enough RAM, they'll be able to craft a new construct for us. Given that the mechanic is... Given that fixing up the mechanic seems to be our best shot at staving off the apocalypses, I suggest we give it a go. Cheerio. Tiddly tattly, bye-bye, friend. I'm dead. I killed him. I killed Ben. I murdered him. With my bare hands, I walked him into a spike and killed him. Tomato plays visual novels confirmed. I mean, I didn't play it. It was just sort of like I acknowledged that it was in my folder. I'm not really sure what the, uh, what the lever does. What the switch is doing for me. Is the problem. Maybe something upstairs? I can't activate the lift on my own, though. Does it activate the portal? No, the portal's already activated. I wish it was that easy. Yeah, there's no exit. One of us needs to find it first. Isn't there a pad near the door? Nah, it's not doing it either. I can't interact with that pad. Maybe there's something in Dan's or Ben's inventory that I can fuck with. We have in here anyways we got the spanner we still have the duct tape we have the mop and we have the flower that cures cancer it's made a look at the barrel at the top of the stairs yet see the trickiest thing i've had with this game so far is that it's sort of difficult to tell i have to i have to actually kill ben to get him back up there it's hard to tell what's interactable when you're running around as dan because everything is invisible like, you can't see this interact. I wish it, like, still popped up as, like, oh, you can check this. Because then I wouldn't, you know. This is far too heavy and pathetic for my pathetic adventurer arms. Dan? Want to use your pushing skills on this barrel? No chance. The physics of round things is well above my pay grade. Pathetic. Maybe I should lever it with something. We have that sort of power. We can do this. Man, this spike is hella, this is handy as shit. I have poked tiny holes in all these barrels, in case that proves useful. What? No, you're supposed to lever it. No. They're full of highly flammable magnesium powder. Must have been what they used in the olden day to lighten up scenes for films. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. 
That's why directing is such a highly respected job. Because you might get your hands blown off? Huh, doesn't sound right. But I'm not about to run off researching it. Counting on it, pal. Stone here. There's a patch of rough stone here. If I strike it with something metal, I might be able to create sparks. Ooh, very Minecrafty. Is it? Ugh. I don't have anything really metal. I have the hollow spanner. I don't think that counts as metal. The spanner is made of some sort of lightweight, ultra shiny microfiber metal. Very space age. But it won't create any sparks, sadly. Might be able to get something from over there. Dan carries me. Hello, Dolly. Weird, I don't normally make 60s musical references. All this old film equipment must be affecting me. It says camera doll. An antiquated method of zooming in and out on things before cameras could do it themselves. It's missing a wheel though, so it's blocking our way. Could I wedge it? I'd be able to wedge this. I don't want to damage it. I might it might have porn on it somewhere. Oh my god. Okay. Back to square one of being totally doomed and not knowing what to do. Again. Yeah, there's nothing here, unfortunately. No, no, no. It's one of these things. Oh, no! I hate these things. There's got to be a more illicit way through. Stream's over if I could do that. Stream's over. If I do that, it's all over. Obnoxious puzzle. Uh, use inventory? Uh, tape it. That won't help me solve it. You can't even enter. Oh my god, you can. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Oh Jesus. Sweet mother of God. Brute force it. Brute force it. No, that's just never happened. What the fuck does that lever do? There has to be a point for this, like, now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that kills on touch. Then again, it might not. Oh, I, I, I mean, we're in here right now anyways, but... Use inventory. I want to. I want to wear the. Uh, wa I want to wear the thing. Wear the. Um. Wear the bubble thing. Oh, there's no way it's gonna fucking work. That's gonna. That's gonna kill me. Try turning off the game. <laughs> hmm. Killing myself does seem like a clever solution to this puzzle, but unfortunately, the door timer is linked to my heartbeat. So when I die, the door opens. How? Ready. Convenient. Okay, so there's something that we do in here. There was like an interactive in the middle of the fucking thing. Down here. Hang on, let me, hold on. I got said nothing. Okay, so Dan has no purpose. Well, Ben has no purpose in here right now. So we can just use this. I crushed my companion right there. I can't believe I can't just push the barrel. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing! Chad, I don't know what to do! This game's too hard! I'm getting my brain hurts! I can't physically do it. Are we sure the portal does nothing? Absolutely 100% positive. Try the store. Still not online. The five the five size store is still online. We cannot buy. 
that we cannot buy the seesaw. Banners on the wall. I think those are just set pieces in the background, chat. I'm just not entirely sure. Like, hang on. I guess I can look with Ben like that. I tried that. First, I have to kill him again. The gear. If it's the, if it's this thing way back here. I'm not going to be happy. It's either the fucking stick. I can't move. I can't use stuff on this. It's moving too fast. Can you use tape on it? No, that's completely. That's completely impossible. That's that one's never happening. That's never. Ha that's never happening. I looked it up. I don't get it. Is it that fucking? Is it that? Ridiculous this this section but I, I physically cannot fathom that either way uh, I'm probably done for now on this one We're gonna wrap up cuz uh, this game's fucking long and we 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 finished we finished a pretty solid bit of it that I'd want to finish I think for today Yes Beaten by a puzzle. I'm just I'm done with it I, I, I'm gonna probably play it on my own, but it's not something I was ever gonna beat on stream I honestly just wanted to play it to um, sort of give it some attention It's a good game uh, I recommend it for people that are interested in it. I guess it's like $15 on Steam or something like that Yeah, it's $20 You turned it off you showed that game who's boss. I'll probably beat it on my own honestly this is the sort of game I'd play on my own off stream. But, uh, no, I I'm done on that for tonight. Cause, uh, it's one of those days, chat. Some days I've, some days I'm fucking totally good. And another day, three hours and I'm not feeling so great. Unfortunately, the days are not feeling so great day. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it a little early, which means I'll probably run longer tomorrow. Again, it's usually how this plays out. So expect a long stream tomorrow and then cataclysm on Monday or, uh, Sunday, one or the other, whichever one. Whichever one makes more sense for me. I'm looking into doing a Phantasmagoria in the next day or two. Or three. I want to do Phantasmagoria, the original one. The old DOS shit. So that'll be... That'll happen at some point in the next couple of days. That should be... That should be good. Isn't that a spook game? It's not a very spook game. I would call... I would identify that as very low spook. In the grand scheme of things. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna longing, we're gonna do our longing wrap up, and uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at three to four for uh, for either Phantasmagoria, uh, or um, maybe Heroes of Mind Magic three. I forgot I put my boy. I told my boy to go home last time we played. He's here. Look, chat. Since this place is getting more homey, I feel like time is going faster. We've, we're, we're a month in now, chat. 372 days we're in, chat. In the longing. Not bad, not bad. I think today's a good day to do some reading, though. I think that's what I want to do with this one. Wait. I actually think I want to draw. Wait, sit down on... Sit down on what? Oh, sit down and read. Okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna draw something. That clown pick is horrible. This one is gonna be... These are gonna be some... This is every color I have. Stay or leave. Night versus day. I like that one a lot. Draw that. Look at the color selection. Look at the power. Look at the options we have. Yes. Yes. Rombat454, thanks for the eight months. Hey, Tom Taloni, what's your opinion on cherry tomatoes? Eh, depends on how they're prepared. Sauteed, mixed in with stuff, usually okay. I would never eat a fucking cherry tomato, like, plain, though. Groose Mooch, thanks for the five gifted subscriptions to the channel. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. Thank you, Groose Mooch. 
get a lot of subs today. Thanks for that, man. Thanks for that. Mountain of Meat, thank you for the six months prime. General Mage, thanks for the five months prime. I honestly don't know where I stopped, so I'm just like fucking grabbing people at random right now until I get an idea of where I am. Kassok, thanks for the sub. Dog37, thanks for the five months. Kanto, hope you're fresh. Keep up the good work. Tries to high-five you, but at the last moment, turns it into a fist bump. I'm assuming that means you punched me, and that's a big mistake. You're gonna regret that one. Tony Gary Yellow, thanks for the 15 months. A handful of bees, thanks for the 11. I've definitely still been here. I need to. I need a really a better way of like labeling who I've already read on this shit for once in my fucking life. All right, I think I found it now. The letter B, thanks for the uh, 13 months prime. Elbeck9960, thanks for the two months. It's been two months without moisture. Yes. Naked Mole Rat 49 thanks for the nine months prime. Sausage in You, thanks for the prime as well. Posturable, thanks for the seven months. Archlich Grimjin, thank you for the sub. Queen of Lizards, thanks for the 11 months. One more month and I'll have survived a year of tomato yelling at me in rest of chat. Thank you for all the streams and entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, it Zippy, thank you for the two months. Amir Shrub, thanks for the 14 months. Prime. Hipster Hippos, thanks for the 13 months. Lala Sasanu, thanks for the five months. Rope Sock, thanks for the eight. Juno Upseto, thank you for the six. Serious Cat Addict, 12 months. Prime. Syringus 83, thanks for the four months. Oniku, thanks for the two months. Prime. Have you ever considered voice acting? Your voice legitimately gets me immersed. No, I don't think I'd be very good at it in, like, the grand scheme of voice acting, but I enjoy doing voices and shit for, like, streams and, like, story games. Uh, the Bobinator 84, thanks for the nine months. Helm 2K, eight months prime, Vinyl Cat. Tier 2 subscription for ten months, very kind of you, thank you. Chad Chaddington, six months prime. Hey, Tomato, I've been meaning to ask you. I've been here quite a while, but I never managed to notice the massive pit over there. What's up with that, he says, already starting to fall into the pit. He's gone. He'll learn the hard way now. Cursed Kaiju, thanks for the six months. Prime Siegfried, 29, thanks for the six months as well. A Norseman, thanks for the 15 months. The Italian BMT, four months. Cult Aside, six months. Toby Queef, eight months. Prime. PK Fox, 13 months. Nukematic, thank you for the sub. Gruce Smooch, thanks for the five. Gifted subscriptions to the channel. Very kind of you, very kind of you again, Gruce Smooch. Thank you a lot for that. Wow, this picture's nice. Itchy, thanks for the 13 months. And Nadostra, thank you for the eight months prime. Yeah, I'm sort of burning through this quick chat because, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling super. So I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, I'm going to plan on being back tomorrow at 3 to 4. I'm getting used to the method of how this is nowadays. Unfortunately, it's not something I could really predict. But, hey, I'm going to the doctor on Monday, and hopefully I'll get this sort of ironed out. Or at least get some get some leads as to what's what's up. Was the game just real short? No, it's just that I'm I wanted to I didn't want to go super long. And simultaneously, I'm I'm not feeling fantastic, so I'm I'm gonna call it rather than fucking force myself. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. That's usually how this shit works. Uh, if I have a short stream, the next one ends up just longer because I end up feeling better the next day. So let's play on that. Uh, the time goes fast faster in the company of great art. This one deserves a special place on my wall. Behind other art, by the looks of it. Can we move that? Time's moving by at almost five seconds a tick. This game might not be as long as we thought, chat. Let's hop down and read a book. Tomorrow, Cataclysm? Nope. Tomorrow is not Cataclysm. Tomorrow, Cataclysm's either going to be Sunday or Monday. Certainly not tomorrow. Let's read a book. Which ones have I not read? Are these any of these like long? Hang on. Do I, do I have like a long book, like Moby Dick style? I'd like to read one of the long ones, Fables. It's 109 pages. We'll read Fables. The Fox and the Grapes. Yes. That'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah. Well, chat, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not entirely sure just yet exactly what I'm going to do, but I listed out a couple of the ideas. Uh, I need just like. Gang, I need, like, one fucking night of just, like, time to jam out all the shit. Because, like, honestly, I've got a lot of stuff I want to set up. I just haven't had time or, I guess, like, the proper mindset to really... Like, with everything fucking going on, it's been pretty hard to just, like, throw together the stuff I want to do. Even though I'm home all the time. So, 
I got some stuff I need to do. I'll probably try to get some of it done tonight because I would like to, I would like to get some of my, some of my plans and like, like larger game streams and like different weird shit that takes weird setup to do done. I've been working on Morrowind. Morrowind's almost ready. Morrowind, Morrowind's close. And once Morrowind's done, uh, that will take the spot of Cataclysm by the time that, whenever Cataclysm is wrapped up. That's that's sort of my plan. Is that Cataclysm will sort of be swapped for Morrowind when Cataclysm's done. And we'll just continue on with Morrowind every Sunday. And sort of have Sundays be like the new series game that I'm doing for a while. And just sort of do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah. Continue to recommend weird shit you recommend uh, you think is cool and fun to play uh, in the recommendation section. Even though I didn't play this game for a long time, I think it's awesome. You should try Kingdom Come Deliverance. That uh, game both is great and fucking sucks so bad. I literally was never able to pin whether I hated it or loved it the entire time I played it. I played it to completion. I literally couldn't tell if I loved it or hated that piece of shit. Or awesome game. Alas, that's just how it is sometimes. Um, my entire dashboard is fucked. Chat, I'm voiding you. <laughs> We're voiding today. I'm sending you to the void. I can't open my... Sometimes my fiber internet goes so fast, Chrome actually breaks and I have to restart my whole computer to load anything. So I, I, don't, I don't even know who's lied right now. So you're voiding. I'm sending you into the void. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 to 4 p.m. EST. You know how this works. All right? We'll do... Oh, that's bad? Yeah, I don't know what causes it. Like, genuinely, if I go to speed test, it'll take an eon to get there. But once I get there and run the speed test, it'll say I have, like, a thousand down, a thousand up. But going to actual websites is so incredibly slow. It's like... And it's only until I've restarted my computer and that's fine again. It's weird. It's really weird. But, yeah. I'm gonna wrap up. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.